So we have to solve the initial value problem and we are given some initial conditions. So we're going to start with writing uh, auxiliary equation, which is going to be m cubed plus 3m squared minus 4 equals to 0. And we can write it as m minus 1 times m plus 2 squared equals to 0. Before we get that m equals to 1 to negative 2 and to negative 2, therefore solution is going to be c sub 1 times e to the power of t plus c sub 2 plus t times c sub 3 and times e to the power of negative 2t. Now we're going to differentiate it. So get c sub 1 times e to the power of t minus 2 times c2 plus t times c3 and times e to the power of negative 2t plus c sub 3 times e to the negative 2t. Now we're going to differentiate it again and we get c sub 1 e to the t minus 4 times c2 plus t times c3 times e to the power of negative 2t plus c sub 3 times e to the power of negative 2t and minus 2 times c3 times e to the power of negative 2t. Now I'm going to use our initial condition that y of 0 equals to 1. Therefore, we substitute t with 0 in our first equation. So that's going to be c1 plus c2 plus 0 equals to 1. Therefore, c1 plus c2 equals to 1. Then we're going to use second condition that y prime of 0 equals to 0. So we substitute in second equation t with 0 and we get c1 minus 2 times c2 plus 0 and plus c3 equals to 0 therefore c1 minus 2c2 plus c3 equals to 0 and the last one, one y double prime of 0 equals to 1 half therefore we get c1 minus 4c2 plus c3 minus 2c3 equals to 1 half, therefore c1 minus 4c2 minus c3 equals to 1 half. So now we're going to solve the equation that c1 plus c2 equals to 1, c1 minus 2c2 plus c3 equals to 0, and c1 minus 4c2 minus c3 equals to one half. And we get that c1 equals to 19 or 16, c sub 2 equals to negative 3 or 16, and c sub 3 equals to 23 or 16. So now we substitute these values in our general solution and we get that solution as 1 sixteenth times 19 e to the t plus negative 3 plus 23 t times e to the power of negative 2 t. And that's our answer.